Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for pressing that play button. Today we have a little bit to discuss about the C8 mid-engine Corvette and some possible leaks to what engine or engines this car may have as options in the future. Of course, there will also be new renderings and a spy video at the end as well. So stay tuned. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so as usual, this information was found on the midenginecorvetteforum.com and the corvetteblogger.com. I will put links to both of these down in the description below. I was recently emailed by John over at the midenginecorvetteforum.com and he asked me to join their forum. And after I did, I gotta tell you, the guys over there really seem to know their stuff and it's a really nice place to share Corvette information. Everybody there is very nice and as I've said before, both sites are wealths of knowledge. So definitely go over, check those sites out. There's a lot of information there, stuff that I don't even necessarily have time to cover in one video. So check them out. So our first bit of information comes from the Corvette blogger, which was actually shared on the mid-engine Corvette forum first. And it actually came from originally the Corvette forum. So three different places shared the same bit of information because of how interesting it is. There is a user on the Corvette forum, has over a thousand posts, and who lives in the Detroit area, and just might be an actual GM insider. This particular member is named Farmington, and he has talked about some of the things he has seen at work, quote unquote. He claims to have seen a completely dressed LT6 engine at work. He claims this is the dual overhead cam, naturally aspirated version, with tubular headers, dual throttle bodies, and beautiful red anodized cam covers. Now, as soon as I read this, a lot of this stuff stuck in my head as being very much likely true because there has been a lot of talk about, obviously, this particular engine using dual overhead cams for the first time. There has also been a lot of rumor discussing the possibility of at least one of these models being naturally aspirated. Dual throttle bodies would not be a surprise based on the Cadillac engine that was leaked not too long ago, showing again a dual throttle body setup. And the red anodized covers would make sense considering you'll be able to see them through the glass panel in the back of the car. Now he goes on to say that he wanted to take some pictures but there was too many people around so obviously he wasn't able to get anything from that. But he also said that he believes they're using a flat plane crank like the Ford does in their Coyote engines. This is interesting again because a couple of the five videos showing the car on the Nurburgring sounded a lot like a flat plane crank V8 engine. So here again, we're getting some information suggesting that some of the earlier rumors may have been true. Also says that this engine is set to use a dry sump which of course is expected with any car that is going to be track ready he also claims to have seen what is likely to be referred to as the lt2 engine which is basically just the upgraded lt1 that will be making around 490 to 500 horsepower he claims that the upgrades are mostly camshaft related in this engine now he also says that he's been hearing a lot about the lt8 engine that sounds like it's gonna be the top dog. It's gonna be the twin turbo dual overhead cam version and it is gonna head upwards of 900 horsepower on the dynos. Now he says he hasn't seen the twin turbo version but he believes that it's going to be quote unquote a hot V, which basically means the turbos are where the intake manifolds usually are. Now, of course, just like the information that we got from Zerv02 on the forum, you wanna take all of this with a grain of salt because of course, this literally could just be a user trying to feed us incorrect information. But anytime this kind of information is thrown out there on the internet, there is a possibility that it is true. So I figured I would let you guys know because when I read this, a lot of it seems like it is likely true. We've heard a lot of these rumors before and this is information that kind of fills in the gaps in some of the earlier rumors we've heard about the engines for this car. 
So I think with the LT2 being 500 horsepower dual overhead cam, the LT6 is apparently also a V8 dual overhead cam, which is also naturally aspirated. Then the LT8, which is the top dog twin turbo dual overhead cam that could potentially be putting down as much as a thousand horsepower at the crank. He claims that he has heard that this car will put down upwards of 900 horsepower on a dyno. That's very impressive for a mid-engine car that is also likely to weigh less than the current C7. Now, for me, I would be happy with pretty much either one of these three engines. It sounds like they're all going to be at least 500 horsepower and up. I'm still anxious to see the actual car to see what these cars are going to really look like. A lot of the renderings we've seen coming from mostly Chaz Cron over at the midenginecorvetteforum.com, a lot of them are looking pretty good, but honestly, there's no guarantee that the car is actually going to look anything like that. Now, there is a recent video showing the C8 Corvette driving on some snowy roads in the Detroit area. I'm not going to actually play the audio because there's some bad language in it, as well as the fact you can't hear the car anyway. It's just a bunch of jostling around noises. But I will put a link to the full video at the CorvetteBlogger.com in the description so you can watch it if you want to hear the actual audio. Just really something to see the car actually moving. It, you can clearly see those daytime running light LEDs in it, and it's something else to see Chevy testing a car that could potentially be into the hundreds of thousands of dollars on salty, snowy roads. On the Corvette Blogger, they go on to say that the cars that they're seeing now, they're actually taken back by how much they don't actually look anything like the ones we saw at the Nürburgring. I've been saying that for a while now, that the most recent leaks of the car in Detroit that show the daytime running light LEDs don't even look that much like the car we saw at the Nürburgring. So this could be a couple different things, one of which could be GM literally purposely disguising the car so we don't necessarily know exactly what it looks like yet, or we could potentially be seeing two completely different models. One likely a base model, one more of a performance model. Now in this video you can see what looks like that lip around the front that I had talked about in my previous videos that looks strange and out of place. But again, not sure if that will actually make it to the final design or if that's just something they're sticking in there to, to throw us off a little bit. The CorvetteBlogger.com states basically the same thing, that they think that there's something stuffed under the edge there or possibly the entire front bumper is changed to not let us see what the car is really going to look like until it's officially revealed. Now, of course, this video is not the best quality. Someone looks to have been filming this with probably a 1990s flip phone, but any video or any pictures of the actual car are always welcomed as far as I'm concerned. Now, another thing that this video also captures is towards the end, you can actually see some of the spoiler in the back. And we're not seeing a strange shaped spoiler that a lot of these previous cars on the Nürburgring had. This actually just looks like a small lip spoiler. So again, could be GM disguising the car or we could be looking at different models. One with a higher rise spoiler or one with a low profile one. At this point, there's no way to know. We're really going to have to wait and see the actual reveal of this car. But at this point, it's got to be getting close. If GM's literally testing this car on snowy roads around the Detroit area, it has to be getting close to the point of actually being revealed. Over at the midenginecorvetteforum.com, they have actually put together a collection of snippets that were taken from GM on a couple different days talking about or at least slipping up about the existence of the C8 Corvette. There's a few of them over on that forum. I'm not going to get really into detail with them because it sounds like this has been discussed on some other people's channels. But basically what it is is a couple different actual GM employees who are talking about the current C7 and how it is ending with the ZR1, but they're still very proud of the C8 and how some of the employees were at different events and some weren't because they were back at the shop working on the C8R and things like that. So little snippets just showing that GM admits to the existence of the C8, GM admits to R&D on the C8, and the fact that it is coming very soon with the ZR1 really being the final C7 car. Now that was stated by Mark Royce, who is now the new GM president. And this, this is interesting because just in my last video, I talk about the new C7 Special Edition coming, and that's gonna be happening this upcoming weekend. So it's interesting that he would have chosen the ZR1 to talk about 
how that is the car that's ending the C7's lineup. Because with the existence of the C7 Special Edition, it's not technically the ZR1. Unless, of course, he's just referring to the top dog being the final C7. I'm not really sure. It's not overly clear. But either way, he clearly said that car was ending the C7, and we're proud of the C8. So it is definitely a car that's coming soon that we can expect, hopefully, very soon. I want to see this thing in person instead of looking at renderings that might not necessarily be accurate. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of the renderings today, what you think of that video, and what you think of the engine possibilities coming out for this car. If you liked what you saw, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next upload.